Hello and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Today, you all, we have got to get into the aftermath of leaving a good man. See, way too often when it comes to women, we always feel like, you know, if I have this good man, I can get a better him, right? We don't see that man as somebody that is um, of value, uh, somebody that should be treasured, appreciated, held on tightly to. We don't have that mentality a lot of the times. A lot of the times when it comes to women, it's like, well, I can always upgrade. I can always replace. I can always, you know, find somebody else that is going to be richer, taller, finer, better in bed, sweeter, you, you name it, right? And unfortunately, a lot of us find out the hard way that that's not necessarily true. As a matter of fact, when you do come across a man that is you know, embodying all that you're looking for or most of what you're looking for because nobody is perfect, it's probably a good idea to, once again, hold on to that man, appreciate that man, let that man know that you value him and also reciprocate and pour back into that man because let's just be honest, a lot of the times that guy that was showing you the most love that was giving you the most support, that was there for you and had your back through it all. Yeah, he was irreplaceable. Let's look at the climate today. The climate today suggests that a lot of men are kind of checked out and done with um, relationships and dating and settling down and marriage and family starting and building, right? So when you take that into consideration and you analyze everything and you have a good man that is ready and willing to do that, it's probably a good idea to stay there. Because if you get rid of him and try to go out into this world to where, again, the climate is very tough, to say the least, as far as settling down and men taking women seriously and you know, getting married and starting families, you're probably not going to be able to find another him. You're probably not going to find somebody that is ready and willing to take on the responsibility of, you know, a woman. Because let's not get it twisted, you all. A man deciding to be with a woman, that's a lot that he's adding on to his plate, considering the male role, right? There are roles. Men and women are expected to contribute certain elements to a relationship, right? The man is supposed to provide. The man is supposed to protect, lead, teach, love. Like the man is supposed to do those things. So when a man makes the conscious decision to take a woman into his life, that means, hey, I'm going to have to work harder. I'm going to have to make more money. I'm going to have to be able to properly and efficiently and effectively manage not only myself and my own time and my own life, but hers as well. Because again, I am going to be playing the role of that leader. And so by me being in that position, I need to be able to navigate everything in a way to where everybody will be fine. Everybody will be able to um, live comfortably, um, be at peace, be happy, flourish. That is the man's role, right? So when a man is deciding to do that, that means he loves you and cares about you enough to be selfless in that way. And what did I just say earlier? A lot of men are just not ready and willing to do that these days. It's way too much of a headache and way too much of a hassle to take on all of these additional roles when, let's be honest, it's more than likely going to be in vain, right?
And I'm going to get into it. I know y'all don't like that, but that's just the reality of it. All right. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let's break that down for a second. A lot of men are coming to the conclusion of taking on the responsibility and adding on to your plate as far as having a woman is not worth the risk. It's not worth the amount of effort and work that you're going to have to put into that because a lot of females of today, I mean, again, let's just be real. They're lazy. That's first things first. And they're entitled. I understand that not all women are that way, but that's the climate once again. The climate is we have a lot of women out there that have it in their minds the man is supposed to take care of me love me provide for me protect me right be faithful to me the man is supposed to do all these things regardless of what i do for him or don't do for him so with that in mind a lot of guys are just like well how about i save my money I save all the hard work and all of the effort and I just focus merely on myself, solely on myself, right? Especially if I'm not going to get any bang for my buck. Why do all of that? That's the mentality of today due to how a lot of women conduct themselves, how a lot of women um, view relationships, view themselves. Again, I am the prize. That is the mentality of a lot of women today. And y'all know that. The man bends over backwards for me while I just reap all of the benefits and rewards. That's it. There's no reciprocation. There's hardly even any appreciation. And that's just being honest. And that's why a lot of guys are just like, you know what? Yeah, no, nah, you should have stayed with him because I'm not doing what he was doing. You know, but let's get into this, you all. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. OK. This right here, right, is an explanation of the aftermath of leaving a good quality man. Right. A lot of us really have it in our minds as women. Hey. I don't have to hold on to you. If you're doing this for me, I bet there's a million other guys out there that will do just as much as you're doing, if not more. So why settle here when I can upgrade? Right? I can see what else is out there on the market. We don't see it as, oh, this man just really loves me and values me. We don't see it as, hey, maybe, just maybe I lucked up with this. Uh-uh. Our egos today as women will not allow us to appreciate a good thing when we have it. Our egos tell us, girl, you can do better than this. And then you don't. Let's get into it. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. This is the aftermath of losing the good man. Let's play. After you actually lose a good man, let me tell you the aftermath before you choose to lose this good man. You will try to find a man equivalent to the man you're with. And you will think that you could find better. But when you actually put yourself out there, you'll realize that there is no man left right now. And every man will try to use you for a certain thing. And you will look for that man that you left in other men. You will regret that man to the core because you'll realize that there is no good people out there and nobody loved you as much as that man loved you. And after that, you will try to go back to that good man only to realize that that good man doesn't want you. And he actually found a good girl if you have someone good in your life, cherish them. Don't think you could replace them. Mm. 
that was all bars, all facts. Now I want to replay it and I want to be able to pause it in between so that I can give my commentary because that was facts. But I wanted you all to hear it in its entirety. That way you can just really absorb the message. But let's go ahead and play that again. All right. And again, like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let's really break this down. Because unfortunately, a lot of women do make this grand mistake. They don't realize that they had a good man while they had it. First things first, they feel like, oh, I can outdo him and replace him. Or they just feel like, oh, I'm just not ready. Okay, let me let me pause before we uh, replay it and everything. Let me let me go there for a second because that's important to highlight as well. You have women out there that first things first, their ego gets in the way and they feel like they can replace that man. And so they'll leave him and search for a better version of him and somebody else. But another level and layer is when we do have a good man that is being presented to us, we feel like, you know, I'm still young. I'm still hot. I'm still vibrant. You know, I have all of these guys throwing themselves at me. I have all these guys maybe giving me money and giving me attention. And, you know, I, I'm just wild and free right now. So although I am being presented with a good quality man, right? I'm not ready for him yet. We feel like, hey, I, I'll have all this time in the world to get with you later. So it's not necessarily that I don't want you or I feel like I can do better than you. I'm just not in that mode of being settled down. I want to be a hot girl. I want to be a city girl. I want to be wild and reckless and free. I want to be able to live my life. And then once I get it out my system, quote unquote, then I'll come back to you. That's another element of this conversation that also ends in a backfire. Okay. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. It's some real talk. That is also the aftermath of letting a good man get away. Oh man, I, I just thought that I would always have, you know, access to him. And I just always thought I would be able to come back later. And then you don't. Let's play it. After you actually lose a good man, let me tell you the aftermath. Before you choose to lose this good man, you will try to find a man equivalent to the man you're with. Let's pause. That's facts. A lot of the times when you let a good man get away by thinking that he'll wait around for you forever or thinking that you can replace him, right? What oftentimes ends up happening is these women realize their mistakes and then it's like, okay, well, um, I remember how he did X, Y, and Z for me. And so let me try to find another man that would do X, Y, and Z for me. And then you don't find him. Right? So it's always this constant search of looking for what you had in him, but they're not him. That's tragic. That is the most regretful feeling in the world of coming to realize that, yeah, that was the best I could have had. So now you're on this endless search of trying to find what you had in him and the next man, but the next man will never be him. Who wants that for their lives? Who wants to spend the rest of their damn lives trying to find and replace something that they know they let get away? Let's continue. And you will think that you could find better. But when you actually put yourself out there, you'll realize that there is no one left right now. It, it, that's facts as well. And again, that 
goes back to what I said earlier as far as the climate is concerned. A lot of guys out here are checked out. And again, I hate that. As somebody that is a strong advocate for relationships and marriage and men and women coming together and building with each other, having families, you know, that's very nerve wracking even for me, you know? Because here I am, I have a beautiful marriage with a beautiful man that loves me, takes care of me, you know, and all of that. I want other women to be able to experience the bliss of having a man in their lives that loves them, cherishes them, values them, takes good care of them, teaches them, guides them. It's a beautiful thing, right? But due to, again, the climate, that's just not out there like that. Not in abundance. A lot of men, again, they don't want the responsibility or the headache of taking on having to provide and protect and lead a woman because it's like, I'm not even going to get anything out of it, though. She gets a lot. She gets somebody that is going to love her, um, give her money, give her stability and security, good penis, you know. What do I get but a bunch of demands? What do I get but having to work harder? You know? So that's that's what she just said. You'll go out there and you'll find that it's just no men left out there like that. But again, our egos, ladies, we have it in our mind. Oh, I'm the baddest chick. I always have men throwing themselves at me. And that may be true to a certain degree, right? So yeah, men may throw themselves at you actually. Yeah, I know what we're trying to say. You got to watch out for YouTube, okay? But are they trying to commit to you? Are they taking you seriously? Are they being monogamous with you? Probably not. So that's facts. It's a whole different world out here. Men are not just out here in search of, of wives like that. They're just not. For what? I, I would rather chase a bag. I would rather build my business. I would rather just have the responsibility of taking care of myself than another human being, a grown person that is, again, not even going to appreciate or reciprocate what I'm doing. So, yeah, it, from what I'm hearing, it's real dry out there. So are you sure that you want to throw this away? Let's continue. And y'all like the video. And every man will try to use you for a certain thing. Six. Hold on. And that's where a lot of women go wrong these days. When you have a good man, he wants to pour into you. He wants to love you, provide for you, protect you, lead you, teach you. He wants the best for you out of genuine love. Right? Of course. In any relationship, you want reciprocation and appreciation. But nonetheless, at the end of the day, when it comes to good quality men, they are doing these things for their women because they just feel such a great love for her. They have a great respect for her. They honor her. And they know, again, the roles. As a man, I'm supposed to do this for my woman. But the thing is, a lot of women don't appreciate or reciprocate. But that's another story. But at the end of the day, when it comes to good quality men, they're doing that out of a pure heart. We're going to put it plain like that. It's pure intentions behind it. Whereas these other guys out here, right, that you think really want you, but it's really just an actual experience. You know, they're only doing things because I'm trying to see what that mouth do. Right. I'm only doing this because I'm trying to see how you can throw it back and make it clap. OK, I'm only doing it because um, I'm trying to get something out of you that may 
not be the best for you to give to me. Right? Let's just peep the game. It probably won't be a wise thing for you to, you know, interact with that guy actually. For whatever reason. Maybe he's just not a good person to do that with. Maybe he's irresponsible. Maybe he's, you know, a, a serial baby daddy. I mean, you name it. But that is his intentions. His intentions is to get something that maybe you should not be giving to him out of this equation. It's not coming from a pure place. And a lot of the times, these type of guys will let you know, like, look, if I do this, I'm going to need that, period. So it very much gives a um, prostitute-ish type of exchange and dynamic. And y'all know what we're trying to say. Again, we got to watch out for YouTube. Okay. Whereas a good man, he's doing this, again, with pure a, a pure heart, pure intentions. He understands the give and take, you know, the yin and yang of uh, a man and a woman coming together and again, reciprocating, exchanging things of value, substance amongst each other. But these other guys out here, it's like, look, I got things to do and women to do. And what you're not trying to do, um, yeah, she will. I'll just move on to the next. I don't care about you like that. If I'm not going to be getting some type of actual favor out of this, yeah, I don't really care. Whereas the good man just wants a woman to, in return, let's say, honor him, respect him, um, make his life more enjoyable and easier. You know what I mean? Think of that sort along those lines. It's not just this prostitute-ish type of, you know, exchange. So yeah, when she says, oh yeah, those guys out there, they're going to be looking for you to do something in return for them, it's more than likely going to be, you know, something uh, a little bit or a lot of bit degrading and cheap just for, you know, that instant actual gratification. Let's continue. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And you will look for that man that you left in other men. You will regret that man to the core because you'll realize that there is no good people out there and nobody loved you as much as that man loved you. And after that, you will try to go back to that good man only to realize that that good man doesn't want you. Oh, <laughs> baby. Ain't that the truth? Do y'all know how many females I've heard say things along the lines of, oh, I should have stayed with X, Y, and Z. I should have been his wife. He was such a good man. And now he's married. Or I ran into X, Y, and Z, and he's doing so great now. I should have stayed with him. I tried to talk to him, but, you know, he seemed uninterested. So even if he was still on the market and he was single, this woman let herself go so much so that he didn't even want her. Or he just has in the back of his mind that, you know, she's not the most sincere and only looking for a handout now. Or she's just completely not his type anymore. He's realized that, you know, we don't really mesh that well. We're not on the same wavelength, if you know what I mean, when it comes to the thought process, lifestyle, personality, interest. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. That happens, you all. So where men were like, I, I don't, I don't understand why I was ever attracted to her. <laughs> and that's very humbling. I've seen it. 
like, oh, we have nothing in common. I don't know what it was. I just maybe thought, maybe, maybe I just thought back then that she was redeemable or I felt like she was moldable, coachable, teachable, and I could undo a lot of the things and, you know, guide her properly. But let's be clear, as we age, we get a lot more stuck in our ways. And so now maybe that guy has it in his mind also that you're just not somebody that he would want to have to undo all of this uh, damage from, right? I don't have time to sit there and try to coach and mold and teach a grown woman that is more than likely going to be stubborn and stuck in her ways, you know, to do things the way that I would want her to do it. I don't have time to, you know, go back and forth and fight tooth and nail to unlearn and relearn and undo and redo. Too much work when I can just go and get a more moldable, coachable woman. You know, so that happens as well. You'll go back to that guy realizing your mistake, but it's much too late because he's already off the market or because he's just not seeing the compatibility with you anymore. So yeah, that happens too. Let's continue. And he actually found a good girl. If you have someone good in your life, cherish them. Don't think you could replace them. It's such a tough cookie to swallow. It really is. Y'all know what else I've seen? I've seen females get really humble when they see the guy that got away, the good man that got away, happily ever after with his good wife, with his family. I've seen that. It's so unfortunate to witness. And I saw him and he's a doctor now. He's a lawyer now. And his wife is gorgeous and their kids are beautiful and they have this and they have that. And he loves on her so good. And I just think to myself, that should have been me. I've seen that. Oh, it's tragic. Especially when you compare and contrast your life that you have now to his. You see how his wife is glowing and, you know, you see where they are in their marriage and you see their house and you see his credentials and you see all of his, you know, awards and accolades. Like it, it is just a tragic sight to see, you know, and then you look at yourself like. Ugh. My life is comparable to a college student that just got out of high school. That's how far behind a lot of females are due to wasting a lot of their youth and their time on partying, getting ran through, getting drunk, getting high, you name it, becoming baby mamas by uh, smoking, right? It, it, it's just terrible. The comparison and the contrasting of it all. It's downright humiliating. And it's such a heart-wrenching thing, gut-wrenching thing. When you realize that that man was irreplaceable. When you realize that you could have been a lot further in your life than you are now. Had you held on to that good thing while you had it. But you thought you could do better than him or I just wasn't ready. I wanted to party and live my best life. When you could have partied and lived your best life with a good man. Just because you have a good man and you're settled down doesn't mean that you don't get to live. All of these people that you see that are successful and happily married and all of that and thriving, they got with those people when they were young. Now they're building. Now they're successful. Now they're comfortable. 
They're thriving. But you didn't want to do that. You thought that the grass would still be green much later on. No, you didn't fertilize that grass. You didn't cut the grass. You didn't make sure that you were watering plants. and You didn't do what was necessary for that grass to still be green. You just wanted him to keep the grass green for you so you can come back and just chill with your lawn chair. And it didn't happen. You were replaced. Men are not waiting around anymore. They're not especially good quality men, please. A lot of women will see a good quality man and they'll jump right on in with him. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. I'll water the grass for you. I'll help you plant this and I'll help you cut that. Oh yeah. And now they're chilling on acres of beautiful fertile land. And here you are like, damn, that should have been me. That could have been me. Congratulations, you played yourself. What more can I say? And unfortunately, this will be the end result for a lot of women out there. I hope not, but I mean, I just gotta be honest, it will be. Because I continue to see you all do the same things and make the same choices and mistakes. Let me ask my brother something, okay? Y'all know how we like to do. And again, y'all like the video share the video, and subscribe. I want you all to place a one in the chat if you've ever had a woman from your past try to get back in your good graces. You know, she hate big-headed you. Put a one in the chat if that's ever happened to you. You were a good man and she came to realize you were a good man and tried to come crawling back to you. Put a two in the chat if that's never happened to you before. But if it did happen and you put a one in the chat, I would like to know, did you accept that woman back into your life or did you turn her around, right? Were you already settled down by then? Were you just no longer interested? Did you view her as somebody that was an opportunistic gold digger? Y'all let me know. I would love to know. All right. But unfortunately, there has been a lot of guys that this type of situation has happened to. So where he did everything that a man was supposed to do, quote unquote, and that woman still ditched him or whatever, thought that she can do better, thought she can replace him, thought he would wait. And then she learned the hard way. And uh, again, more than likely, she ended up regretful and remorseful. I've seen it. Again, it's a tragic sight to see. Humiliating, to say the least. But I would love to know that. And again, if it is a lot of ones, that speaks to the ego of a lot of females. We really feel like these men will wait around on us. We really feel like we're the baddest chick that can get the top of the line best man. And you had him, sis. But you thought that you could do better. Because, again, you the baddest. Right? Please stop learning the hard way, ladies. It's a bad look. But y'all like the video. Share the video. Subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all's comments and your feedback on all of this. Um, but I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads. And again, ladies, remember, when you have a good man, hold on tight to him. He may be the last one left. Peace.